after two very inspiring conversations with incredible women from Portugal and Spain, today I am traveling, unfortunately only digitally, to Croatia, where yet another amazing woman is waiting for us. She is Biliana Terin, the president of the Cybersecurity Association of the Croatian Chamber of Economy. Last year, Biliana was named as one of Europe's 50 most influential women in cybersecurity. Biliana, it is very good to see you. Welcome to Huawei Women Power Talks. Thank you, Beta. Good to see you as well. And I'm uh, sorry that you cannot be here in person because uh, this time in Croatia is a really good time. Indeed, in indeed. It's a pity you know, to be able to swim in the Adriatic. But I would say that this year is a bit more, well, strange, maybe, situation. <laughs> anyway. I'm optimistic. <laughs> Yeah, 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 no. But uh, you see, even more more reasons to look to the future and to try to prepare our uh, younger generations for the world that is coming, in that sense. So, Biliana, I wanted to talk with you, obviously, um, about cybersecurity. Um, you know, when thinking about cybersecurity, many people just see hackers, right? fighting a virtual war of complex code. However, the cybersecurity world is much more than that. And in reality, it looks much less like a science fiction movie. One of the reasons, probably, why many girls and women don't even consider a degree in this field or taking up a cybersecurity related job is precisely because of these stereotypes that don't exactly reflect an inclusive and egalitarian environment, but rather one of permanent confrontation and, if you allow me to say, continuous shielding against um, malicious um, attacks from hackers and sketchy practices. Um, but Biliana, you have been in the sector for many years. How is it like to work at cybersecurity? Yeah, I think uh, it really depends on how widely you look at the cybersecurity field, and the field itself is really wide. Uh, just one one uh, concept of cybersecurity is actually dealing with uh, you know network security, hacking, penetration, and that, that kind of uh, jobs that we see in those typical stereotypes. It's just one of, of those uh, different forms uh, jobs that cybersecurity can take. However, for example, myself, in the beginning of my career, I was focusing on software security mostly and developing software, secure uh, authentication me mechanisms, cryptography, and similar technical aspects of cybersecurity. However, as I gained more and more experience, I thought that uh, the most secure uh, practices come from combining people, processes, and technology. And that's when I moved a little bit more towards the organizational aspects of cybersecurity. My favorite field and the one that I'm specializing in right now is uh, risk assessment, uh, management, governance, and compliance. And uh, if you want to work in this field, you will see it's really different from what you described uh, in the introduction. So it's more working with people, less working with the technology. However, in order to be successful in this field, you also have to understand and keep in touch with the technology as much as you have to understand and keep in touch with compliance requirements. You know all about GDPR, probably there are many more compliance requirements coming up that you have to deal with cyber security. And especially in Europe, we have the new frameworks and new certification mechanisms as well. So I think everyone can find uh, herself or himself in this great uh, field because it's really wide and depending on what you really like and what is your real passion, that's where you will find a place for yourself and that's the job you will do. So I think working in cybersecurity can take many different forms. I really enjoy my job and uh, as I always say, it's really difficult to say someone is an expert in such a fast-changing field as cybersecurity is. Because as soon as you learn something, something new happens and you have to learn again. You have to keep learning all the time, entire life actually. So the more you learn, the more you know about something, the more you know how much you don't know. And I mean, uh, you know, cybersecurity uh, professional, I think it's one of the nicest jobs you can actually do. Indeed, indeed, cybersecurity is one of the nicest jobs that you can do. And like I also always say, technology and thus cybersecurity is for everyone who wishes to make a difference and to contribute to a better connected world, obviously, regardless of whether they are a man or a woman. Um, finally, Liliana, I know that you are not really a friend of the word expert, 
but I have to ask you this though for the sake of uh, further clarity. Uh, could you give some advice to our viewers who might be considering cybersecurity as their professional field? Like, what does one have to do to become a cybersecurity expert or at least a professional on the cybersecurity field? The first condition is you have to feel the passion for the field. If you feel the passion, that's the thing that gives you ability to learn all the time. Uh, you can enter this field anytime. Maybe you are already an accomplished professional or something else, and then you see, you know, this is interesting. Maybe you work with people who find in cybersecurity, or maybe you are just someone young who wants to start uh, its career in cybersecurity. And the question is always how to start. This is the question I get the most often. How do I get into the field? Um, I think it's a good thing to finish a university degree that will open these opportunities for you. Keep an eye on open opportunities. Uh, right now, cybersecurity professionals and experts are in really high demand. Uh, however, in order to get to those positions and jobs in various companies, you always find some uh, entrance requirements like processing a cybersecurity certification. When you look at those certifications, like CISP, SSCP, CISM, and others, all of them also, besides passing the examination, require you to have some experience. So the question is actually how to gain this experience. I would say the best way is get involved in as many projects as you can during your study or within your company and find yourself a mentor. Uh, if you want to be more on the technology side, keep in touch with the technology, follow the technological developments, companies and uh, solutions and tools that you will be using. If you want to be more on the people and process side, make sure you understand the risk uh, assessment and management, compliance requirements, how it's developing, what it means for companies. But connect with people. The most important thing in the field, I think in every field, not just cyber security field, is actually to network with people network whenever possible and find yourself a mentor. I think if you ask someone that you think should be a right mentor for you, he will or she will almost always say, yes, sure, I'm happy to mentor you. Uh, besides just mentoring, I think really uh, having a plan, a guided mentorship, a goal, something that you have to work on, a specific topic that you want to achieve, it's the best way to have a structured mentorship. So if you want, if you really feel the passion for the field, if you want to enter the field, if you want to network with those people, find yourself a mentor and make sure you, you keep in touch with uh, either, either technology, either processes, whatever you want to focus your uh, career on, but also make sure it's your passion. Because only if you are passionate about something, then you can really become successful in what you do. Very interesting, Miliana. Thanks a lot for your insight. I think this sums up very well um, um, by keeping in mind that the first thing you need is a passion. And then if you have a passion for cybersecurity, find yourself a good mentor and make sure to start gaining experience as soon as possible. Uh, well, this is all for today. And to our audience, stay tuned for more Huawei Women Power Talks episodes. And let's all continue striving for a fairer and more equal world.